I had received from Amazon USA to Canada. So that, however, in this package, there are four labels. One. Is Today I will be returning my three Amazon packages which I had ordered online and they got delivered here. So two of the packages Amazon delivered from within Canada and one package came from Amazon US. So I will show you the step by step process of how you go ahead and return those packages. The first thing is on your order page you have to go and click return that product and then you have to follow some steps that how you want the amount to be returned to you and that and then it will give you a label that label you need to print put it on the box and then you have to send that box back now there are two different methods for the boxes which came to me from within canada for that i'll have to go to a place where there, there are delivery boxes of a courier company so i'll go there with my box and a label printed on it and I'll put it in that uh, drop box. The package which came from US for that I need to go to the UPS store and there I have to give my package with the label printed on it to that UPS person and then they will ship it out. So let me take you along with me and show you this step by step. So first step, first thing is you have to print the label and put it on the boxes. I don't have a printer if you have at your home good just print at your home if you don't you need to go to a place where you can print your pages so you can go to the courier offices as well however where I am going is the place where you get the cheapest print that is the Toronto Public Library it's a walking distance from me so they have branches at multiple locations in Toronto so the branch which is very near to me I'm going there it's just a small walk and I'll print my pages there and then we'll move on I've got the prints of those mailing labels and now stick those onto my boxes both my return packages are now ready with the label on them now let's go to the drop box of that courier company. On Google map you can search for the location of the nearest drop box of that courier company which you will see on Amazon. You can go there and drop your package. Here are we near the drop boxes of that courier company. So that is how you drop your package and it will be picked up by that courier company whenever they come and pick up from this drop box. Now about returning the package which I had received from Amazon USA to Canada. So that one I am not supposed to drop it any drop box of the courier company. So when I had clicked on the return on Amazon it gave me the instruction that I have to hand over that package to a UPS store. There I have to paste a label on the box just like I did for this package and then I have to provide another label to the UPS person in the store because this package will go back to US and they will take care of those importing activities just like it was taken care when it came from US to Canada so this is the process so let's go to the UPS store and meanwhile I have got this cart as well the cart is because while going to the UPS store there is a grocery store in between I have to buy some groceries so I'll get those groceries as well. So for the Canada one package, there were, it was very simple. I had to paste one return label on the box and drop it in the courier company's drop box. For this US package, there are four labels. One is the return label that I have to paste on the box. The another one is the invoice, the which says how much amount and all the product thing. That is what also I have to paste. That will be used for the importing thing. And when it will go back to the US, that is when it will be used. And then the third is 
a small slip which has a barcode about the product that needs to be put inside the box and fourth is again the invoice but that invoice we have to hand over to the courier company so for that i am going to the ups store and there i will be giving this package That's it. Then I just left the package in front of their counter. The guy said, "Just leave your package here. We'll give the slip, and that's it. Uh, he'll take care of the rest." Uh, so that is how you return the packages from Amazon in Canada. And none of the time, whether the packages come from US or from within Canada, you don't have to pay anything at all. It's just that you have to drop or you have to give it to the courier company office, but you don't have to pay for the courier.